The twisted turns of the Trump Comey spectacle could keep us mesmerized for months, but they better not. And that's because while the drama playing out in D.C. is enough to turn one's stomach, what actually threatens the average American far more is happening as usual in the states. Drowned out by the Donald Din, old school conservatism is quietly going about its business as usual, building power, investing in infrastructure, and shifting policy and opinion to the right. Top-down media aren't just railed against by the rest of us for pledge drive reasons, and have you paid yours yet? They are problematic because they live, eat, and play at the top of the power heap. And change, as every good changemaker knows, works from the bottom up, be it from the right or the left. So, to invert a phrase of Michelle Obama's, when they go high, we ought to go low, as in local. All the most significant policy reversals of the last 40 years have started in the states. Think about reproductive choice, affirmative action, welfare repeal. Those rollbacks haven't happened by accident, and nor did civil rights. Since the late 1960s, the Republican Rights Alliance of corporate, military, prison industrial, and influence peddling forces have pushed ideas like choice hurts women and unions are bad for workers, and popularized them through a web of interrelated think tanks, media, and fake grassroots lobbying groups. They've collaborated to become the most powerful force in U.S. governance, and they've done it. While the money media weren't really looking, Republicans doubled their control in the states during the Obama administrations. The 2016 election saw the Republicans pick up four more trifectas, Iowa, Kentucky, Missouri, and New Hampshire, for a total of 25 states where they control all branches of government. Democrats control just six. Contrary to the media meme of madcap meltdown and chaos, it's business as usual in the states today. Donald Trump's a loose cannon, but the Milwaukee-based Lyndon Harry Bradley Foundation, for example, is utterly methodical. Bradley's been pouring mountains of money into right-wing causes, especially anything that will defund big labor. And while Trump may not have been their candidate, he is ideal cover, and it's a virtuous or is that vicious cycle. Anti-labor laws and declining labor membership doesn't just boost corporate profits by suppressing wages. They also result in depleted labor coffers and depressed democratic turnout. You can read more about the right's weaponized philanthropy in a trove of documents turned up by PR Watch and the Center for Media and Democracy. But don't get lost in the details. The point is, power shifts happen bottom up. While Marx may not have meant this exactly, he warned of the distracting power of bread and circuses. The Trump mayhem is one hell of a circus, but right-wing bread's still going to the roots. Thanks for listening. You can write to me, Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at lauraflanders.com, and tell me what you think.